Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. I'm going to take a look and just show you um, keyboard text entry on the Windows Phone 7 platform. This is something that uh, I personally find a little bit interesting. Um, you know, the iPhone keyboard is, is really tough to beat when it comes to touch keyboards. But I think that uh, Microsoft's got something here uh, quite good in the uh, the Windows Phone 7, um, 7 keyboard, right? So let's just type... Uh, Something like the quick brown dog, right? And as you can see, as I'm typing, it's uh, as I'm typing, right? It is doing the prediction, and I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to see if uh, I got it zoomed in. Let me check the focus on this actually. Let me make sure that uh, it's out of focus. Okay, so hopefully that. It's hard to see on the small screen. Hopefully you can see that. So I misspelled brown, right? But down here it has in dark, bold letters. It has brown. And that's what's going to enter there if I just uh, was to hit space. It'll enter brown correctly if I hit space, right? So, and then as I type other words, quick brown box jumped. Okay, and it's doing the prediction. Now, say I got to jump, right? And I want jumped. And I see it in the list. I could simply jump up, tap it, and then... Puts, this, puts the word in there and keeps on moving. Over. All right. And if, if, I, if I don't do anything, it'll just enter the way I entered it, right? It doesn't do an auto-correction. It just understands that, hey, that's what he wanted. Leave it in there. It had they. I didn't correct it. Quick run function jumped over the lazy. Now let's say I say... Let's say I say it's the lady dog, right? And I meant lazy. So I say lady dog. I'm like, oh man, I didn't mean lady dog, I meant lazy dog. If I go over here and I tap on the word lady, right? It gives me, and it looks, right? It's very, very smart this way. It looks at the context of what uh, what letters could have been possible there and how it all fits together. And look at this. If I tap the word lady, I just simply tapped it. The first suggestion that it gives me is lazy, which is exactly what I want. And there's also last, Katie, Mary, past, right? So if I Tap the word, there's it is popped up, I tap it, it auto-corrects it, right? And we go back to doing uh, doing some more text entry, right? So I say some ZDNet, and see what happened there? It even got, because I had entered this before, the Z, the D, and the N are capitalized. It recognized that, even though I had it all lowercase, and auto-corrected that for me, right? ZDNet is a great place to right there got all that right no matter how fast I went right it's very very good that way and then typical all the things like isn't right don't it's getting all that stuff picked up it, it's fabulous that way and then we tap on here we see the numbers punctuation it has uh, smiley faces emoticons you know if you needed those um, and it's contact sensitive so like in the web browser it'll have a dot com button here actually let's just go to Let's just go take a look at that. So we jump into the web browser. So I'm up here in the web browser. I want to type in. Okay, so there we go. So I want to type in blogs. Now another thing, I have turned on the ability for Bing search to auto-filter the internet as I type in uh, URLs, right? So ZDNet. Now I can either say .com, but if I want to do something else, I can tap and hold on .com. And there we go. I have options for org, edu, and .net. I just want .com, of course, leave it there, and go to it, okay? So, it's going to help you uh, with, you know, if you're in a website or wherever else you're typing. The typing is actually really, really good on Windows Phone 7. I think people are going to be quite impressed with it. Uh, the touch is fast, and it does the prediction is very, very good. So, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, look forward to talking more about Windows Phone 7. Thanks for watching.